Street flooding in some neighborhoods is actually starting to go down, but efforts to divert all this water from communities remains a balancing act right now. Our Steve Pickett live for us in Northeast Dallas to explain. Yeah, here in the Lake Highlands neighborhood, Ken, we've been watching this. This green belt, belt about 10 miles south of where JD is, this is in, in alignment as well with White, uh, White Rock Creek. We have seen it. It's actually gone down here as well. We're going to uh, pan to our right here a little bit so you can see the neighborhood as well as been keeping their eyes on this. This is just south of uh, the Lakewood and Lake Highlands communities. Uh, when you go just to the north, this is what you see, White Rock Lake and that spillway. That spillway, if you will, is in overspill mode right now. It is moving water onto the Trinity River Basin. That movement is part of the flood management plan for the city of Dallas. There are still low-lying areas facing street flooding, but no real indication today of residential floods. Uh, area reservoirs, however, like Joe Pool Lake, are in flood pool categories, meaning essentially they are above normal water levels. Those lakes are not, I repeat, not releasing right now any water into the Trinity River Basin for flood control. Yet, uh, uh, not yet, that won't happen right now, but some folks taking in the view at the White Rock Spillway, they're actually questioning and wondering how much more rain we can actually sustain here. I wonder when it's going to stop raining. <laughs> the ground is so saturated, I don't think that we can take much more, much more rain. Well, apparently the region's water management system uh, and their officials believe we can handle more rain uh, because that particular process of essentially dumping all of that water that's being collected in those reservoirs is not going into the Trinity. What's going into the Trinity essentially is what's behind me and happening in your neighborhood if you're in the Dallas area. All of that collected rain going into the Trinity to make sure that it stays out of your neighborhood. Now, of course, once there's an indication that it's safer in your neighborhoods for flooding, expect to see those reservoir levels go down, that water be diverted to the Trinity River Basin. And if you've been down in downtown Dallas before, you'll see that river level rise once or twice a year. We get to see it. We've seen it all week here this week. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS.